Hi everybody, welcome to freetradingvideos.com. This is Matador. This is video number two in a series of videos that I wanted to create on options, stocks, and stock option combos, risk graphs, and how to analyze them and use them uh, to define what might be a relevant play for an underlying asset. All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about straight calls. The previous video, we looked at uh, buying stock and selling stock short and what those might look like on a risk graph. So now if we buy a call, let's just do one that's a little bit out of the money here and we'll do one single call. I can analyze this. So there he is right there. And again, same as before, the price along the bottom is the price of the underlying asset. All right. On the side we have break even and then money being added to our account and money going down. All right, so this option costs us $85 plus commissions, so we're risking $91 on this trade on this uh, particular example. That's the most we could possibly lose on that trade. Uh, this is a little, little bit more appealing than having a risk graph right, that looks like this. Let me um, show you what a straight stock look like. looks like just one more time. So we'll delete this one. So again, here's the straight stock. Right, and here is the bot call. Get rid of that. So now, if I superimpose those, look at the difference between them. All right, the straight stock, uh, you could lose lots and lots of money, especially if the stock gaps down. But with the straight call, you can't lose more than what you put into it, as long as you've bought it. All right, so I can. Uh, it's nice to be able to overlay those. So let me get back to zero and look at a straight call in a bigger picture. So like I said, now we've got the bottom side of the price of the underlying asset, and once we get to our strike price of this call, which was at 60, remember? The stock, as it goes up, then starts making the option a little bit more money. We start getting some of the money back, all right? As it goes up and up, it's actually uh, potentially going to make us money infinitely. Right, has an uncapped resource to the upside, but we can't lose more than a certain dollar amount. That's the beauty of trading with options. So let me go back to this, and I'll do one that's a little bit closer to at the money. Here's one of these. This is cool. You'll see what I'm going to do in a second here. And now you see the strike price has actually gone down a little bit. All right, so where the stock is trading right now is right here. And if the stock price goes up even a little bit, we'll start making money. But look at what my loss is going to be now. Instead of being $91, it's $191. So I've taken on a little bit more risk, but I've also given that stock, um, being closer to the money, I'm going to start making money a little bit quicker if the stock does start going up. All right, let's do one that's way in the money, just to make a point. This one's three dollars and thirty seven cents per option so now we're going to risk three hundred thirty seven dollars on that trade plus commissions right now we're already in the upper part of that curve which is great right it, almost, it looks like a straight stock and we've capped our loss but our loss is three hundred fifty one dollars now All right, so interesting to see that now i can overlay these let me superimpose the previous one on that and go down to one line each okay so as you can see, the further out of the money we get over here, the less risk we have, but also the less chance that we have of that stock paying off for us. Over in here, you can see the strike price is at the money, and so we take some risk on, again, the distance between this dashed line and the brown line, right? And over in here, we're already at the money, so if the stock goes up, we'll start making money, but we can't lose any more than uh, X, right? In this case, $191. And down here, we've taken on a lot more risk than the initial position, but we're already on the upper part of that curve. So I wanted to show you how that works, and that's why when I look at a risk graph, I get to decide which one makes the most sense for me and not just have it be some blind rule to follow. So all this has to do with where the stock is going. And what I need to do is use great technical analysis skills in reading a chart, taking apart the underlying asset, uh, to stack the odds in my favor of the stock going in my direction. So with all those things being said, I can then wrap an options trade around that underlying asset uh, that would make the most sense. All right, very good. That's a straight call. We'll do straight puts. 
uh, next time. All right, so that is a quick little dissertation on buying a call and then different strike prices. Uh, more out of the money and then more and more in the money, taking on more and more risk. So thanks for joining me on freetradingvideos.com.